today. Well, I'm at Portisview Falls. Lovely, isn't it? Karajini National Park. I was at Fair Pool earlier today and Circular Pool yesterday. Lovely. But I think you need to get some taps up the top in the summer. People can die out here. Well, I'm very upset at the moment. I thought I would make this video in a location where I feel better about myself. It's Sunday today, and it just happened Friday, the 6th of February. And the West Australian Government is now stopping me from working. I was offered a six month contract to teach physical education at Newman Senior High School. And I apologise to the community of Newman Senior High School. I would have loved to have taught in your high school for a term or two. The Department of Education made the school wait over a week. They made me wait over a week. And nine committee members of the screening unit of the Department of Education decided that I wasn't going to work as a teacher from issues arising from parking fees. Now this has been going on for a couple of years now. The violence against me is totally, will never be forgiven. Insulted me at the front of my home. Stolen my research equipment which they have not re returned. Wasting millions of dollars of public money destroying my rights and my life. And uh, for my political and economic views, stopping me from working and stopping, trying to stop me from contesting critical elections. Now, Eamon Ryan, from the screening unit, you deserve to go to jail, along to be sacked and jailed, along with all the other political government men behind this, including that evil pig in the magistrate's court in Fremantle, Stephen Malley, the two piggy prosecutors behind this, Finley and Duggan, and the Supreme Court Judge Lemire, wasting millions of dollars of public money, destroying my life, and now stopping me from working. It's got nothing to do with teaching, it's got nothing to do with children, and all arising from the Local Government Act parking fees. So every Australian, all Australians, every time you're standing near a parking meter, I want you to think about me, because what they've done as a result of parking fees, parking meters, to me, is destroyed my life using violence, wasting millions of dollars of public money, and now they're stopping me from working, from practicing my profession. And my teacher registration is valid and current till the end of 2016. I've been teaching for 18 years. I've got a master of education. I've written four books of non-fiction literature. It's got nothing to do with teaching and nothing to do with children. It's all issues arising from parking fees which is created under the Local Government Act. Big blow fights here, look at that, mess. Oh. Arising out of the Local Government Act. The Local Government Act throughout Australia need to be abolished. And my vision is to replace Local Government Act with the Ratepayers Association Act, with the rights, interests and needs of ratepayers, homeowners, central to the legislation. Uh, legislation. No parking fees. No parking meters. You see any parking meters out here? You see any car clamps out here? No. So I have to come here to, out to the bush to protect myself, my freedom, and my well being from the Nazi government. Where are a few people around me before you You know, this is Nazism. Nazism. Isn't it? Where Nazis they used violence and they wasted millions of dollars of public money, they destroyed people's rights, they stopped people from working, they locked people up, government facilities and killed them off for nothing. Because I refused to give money to the government. So I stopped giving money to the government because they're killing people, torturing people, stealing, lying, cheating 
and uh, destroyed my family's rights, drugging my brother to death, and a whole host of other reasons. What they've done to the Aboriginal people is genocidal. They've done to the poor people in Australia, Australian citizens. And I want that Fremantle Magistrates Court, I want it shut down, and it should be converted to a human rights court for Australian citizens, where Australian citizens can go to the human rights court and complain about the government. And all of those politicians, Liberal, Labor, Greens and Nationals, you all deserve to be jailed. And you, Eamon Ryan, you deserve to be jailed too because you tried to screw me over before as a teacher from Gilmore College and you know it. And you have destroyed the working lives of hundreds of teachers in this state. You and Sharon O'Neill, you've been in those positions way too long. You deserve to go to jail, both of you for your corruption against experienced teachers, destroying the working lives of experienced teachers in this state, along with the politicians, you all deserve to go to jail. About a thousand political and government men and women in this state, mostly political and government men, destroying women as well, about a thousand of you deserve to go to jail for your corruption against the public, for your violence, for your wasting millions of dollars of money to maintain your own power, control and money. That's all you care about. Destroying our rights, our lives, so you can keep power and you can keep money. And now, you think you, you're stopping me from working, practicing my profession as a teacher. Well, you don't deserve to work. None of you deserve to work if you're going to do this sort of thing out of issues arising from nothing, from nothing. Isn't it? If citizens refuse to give money to the government because of their evil, violent corruption, that is a legitimate political and economic pursuit and stand. And I don't give a rat's about your political made laws. You use the parliament and political made laws, public money and government agencies to destroy our rights, freedoms and interests. And that is the truth. You know, when they lock people up in government facilities in Australia, they kill people. And they drive people to suicide in Australia, the government does. The politicians and their government workers in the thousands, tens of thousands. The leading cause of death in four decades is suicide. And why is that? Because the politicians and the government drive Australian citizens to suicide. If I was a stronger person, if I was a stronger, mentally strong, and intellectually strong and morally strong and within my body strong. I could have easily have done it because of this, because I can't do anything now. But I tell you what, we're going to get Voter Rights Party registered before the 2016 federal election and we're going to contest the federal election 2016 across the nation and we're going to get rid of you. We're going to keep fighting to get rid of you. And all those political government men, Eamon Ryan, Stephen Malley, Duggan and Finley and this scumbag in the Supreme Court, Lemire, these are all evil, violent, malicious, nasty, destructive, evil pigs, and you all deserve to go to jail. And that's it.